we have about 1,156 vessels that we have to keep track of yearly. The majority, all of these are not normally inspected every year. A minimum of, we do about 150 inspections quarterly, right? We keep in track of them for registration purposes, for safety, um, prescribed safety regulations, and to make sure that the vessels in tip top condition for inspection, for fishing. But we determined that there's a lot of information that we collect on the form that we cannot um, do any analysis on. So we wanted to move it to electronic format in which we can do further analysis of our inspections, as well as to be able to connect this information to landing statistics, to our registry that is kept in access, and to other information to determine um, the status of how our vessels are how, how the information correlates with each other to determine how we can improve our vessel situation. So we choose Cobo Toolbox as a tool to use and tablets and our studio as the tool for doing the analysis. The first presentation that was in this conference pretty much sums up a lot of what um, the path to which we will want to take and the tools we are chosen to use. But one of the essential parts of the process is actually having somebody that's well trained in all these tools to give you the guidance and um, staff training to, in, to actually get to the end goal. This is an example of the actual inspection form that we have been using for about, must be over about near 20 years now. But this is actually the third format of it. And the format that we want to move to is electronic form. We found that we are now in the process of piloting this actual form. We haven't yet implemented it fully. The intention is to implement it in January. But before then, we are hoping to get a server where we can download all this information to a central location and upgrade our existing access database that manage our registry of fishery workers and the vessels themselves so that we can tie that information or basically relation it together so that we can create some dynamic reports you know, uh, that will give us a further a better understanding of the overall industry and also to identify any problems that we need to to pay some level of attention to to improve um our processes. What we like about the Cobalt to Box um, form tool is that it allows you to kind of categorize each section of the inspection. So you can, an inspector can focus on the areas that are, that are being inspected to the extent that um, we can get into a lot of detail, right? And allow the ability to report on that information in a more accurate way. So the intended path is to continue the piloting of this, this new form from September to December. And during this time, we hope to acquire the server to download this information to and to apply, upgrade our present access database so that the two can communicate with each other, um, implement the form in January and move away from the paper form but also have ability to create a report that for our existing filing system, we can have that still continue with our existing filing system until we can move a transition across, analyze the data against some landing statistics, um, improve our capabilities in our studio for reporting purposes, and to produce reports that we can put up on our website, our new website that we are now using to share and keep on the same page with the industry in relation to things that are happening within the marine space and what our plans are in the future. So just to summarize quickly, our key focuses is to identify more tools that we can use to collect um, data of different forms in electronic form, identify persons that are skilled in these areas to help us fill out these tools um, establish the central depository, which is the server, 
and have unique identifiers across each data set that will make it really relational. Okay. Yes, thank you very much, Mr. Jackman. Yeah.